one of the most incredible moments in musical history was made recently and to a lot of people on this side of the water that say what, am, what the hell am I talking about I don't know what he's talking about Strome has returned to the musical scene after an eight years of a hi hiatus as they say in English which means an absence and it was long enough but he has come from his very difficult background in the Rwanda massacre his father was killed and he is known to the French and the Belgique people as being one of the most prolific greatest artists of all time and he truly is in his lyrics and whether that comes from the influences of his African background or whether that comes from his personal trauma which I'm sure he's still suffering about his father it manifests in the most wonderful lyrics that just tug at the heartstrings and there's no better artist to portray heaven hell and health and physical health than this man. Sante was taken from his album recently and that was about his health but L'Enfer is also his latest single that's causing a huge sensation. 600,000 units have been sold already and 16 million people have watched this video. If you're not one of them I'm also not one of them but I'm one of his biggest admirers from afar so it's a pleasure to finally bring him onto my channel and to bring his music to your attention and an artist that suffers huge huge panic attacks now we all associate lots of stars including Adele with panic attacks she suffers horrendous panic attacks and her world tour is part of that she's had cancellations recently and people are saying it's down to it again the thought of going back up on stage this man suffered it for a lot of personal reasons as well let's welcome him back open arms, l'enfer, let's listen, I have the lyrics in front of me, it's an extraordinarily, looking at the lyrics, emotional song, one that I'd love to give you my interpretation of, but just as always we do that, the record company has put this out, about Strome, through Strome's words, after making his great return to sharing his musical creations in 2021, with his track Sante, as I previously mentioned, the Belgian singer comes back with L'Enfer, the second single to his album Multitude, which is scheduled for March of this year. Unlike Santé, which means health in English, Stromé decided to promote this song by interpreting it as a premiere in the middle of being interviewed by Anne-Claire Coudre for TF1's 8pm news programme on January the 9th, 2022. The artist uses this track to depict his sufferings as he was on an artistic hiatus, as we say, an eight year long one. And he's now suffered, and how he has suffered personally to this day. Strome talks about the feeling of solitude and how his suicidal thoughts put him through hell. And that is the name of L'Enfer, which means in English, hell, is underlined by the song's chorus. Let's take it away, let's listen. And come back and I'll give you my interpretation. <laughs> Je suis pas tout seul à être tout seul Ça fait déjà ça de moins dans la tête Et si je comptais combien on est Beaucoup Tout ce à quoi j'ai déjà pensé Dire que plein d'autres y ont déjà pensé Mais malgré tout je me sens tout seul Du coup J'ai parfois eu des pensées suicidaires Et j'en suis peu fier on croit parfois que c'est la seule manière de les faire taire Ces pensées qui nous font vivre à l'enfer Ces pensées qui nous font vivre à l'enfer Est-ce qu'il n'y a que moi qui ai la télé et la chaîne culpabilité Mais faut bien changer les idées Pas trop quand même Sinon ça repart vite dans la tête 
Et c'est trop tard pour que ça s'arrête C'est là que j'aimerais tout oublier Du coup J'ai parfois eu des pensées suicidaires J'en suis peu fier On croit parfois que c'est la seule manière de les faire taire Ces pensées qui me font vivre un enfer ces pensées qui me font vivre un enfer Tu sais j'ai mûrement réfléchi et je sais vraiment pas quoi faire de toi Justement pour réfléchir C'est bien le problème avec toi Tu sais j'ai mûrement réfléchi Et je sais vraiment pas quoi faire de toi Justement pour réfléchir C'est bien le problème avec toi deep breath after that. Lauren Fur is powerful, powerful in the images that was used there. I have a couple of things to say about the video as always before we get straight into the lyrics. I noticed the artist Stromae Strome used a hair, I don't know if it's a hair piece, maybe after eight years he actually has that length of hair now, but I'm used to him very short hair, we all are, and the hair was used very effectively in depicting words very strongly what came across was the suicide and the only way to silence feelings and demons inside is to experience them and that powerfully came out and then he flicks the hair and it's almost like a whiplash of enforcing those words so it's very cleverly artistically done i felt him wearing white and we all know he's got his own fashion line notorious for his fashion he's toned it down almost to keep the simplicity in line with the words because white is neutral it's purity after eight years of a hi hiatus has he come through that dark stage for enlightenment and the white represents that we shall see in the lyrics below but there's a lot about the lyrics and straight away i noticed that this video is not about a person it's not about somebody when he mentions you, you, you. It's himself looking in the mirror, talking to himself, in his head, talking to himself. It's those demons within that he is still fighting on a daily basis. So let's take it away with the lyrics and let's see if I'm right or wrong, as they say. First one, I'm not alone in feeling alone. And that's already something. And if I counted all the people like me, we'd be many. Everything I've been thinking about, it's crazy how many people have thought just the same. But even that doesn't help me feeling less alone, actually. It's very true in life when you, we, we have all experienced low, low ebbs in our life. Ebbs is an English word for low points, where you feel so lonely, you feel suicidal. I included have been one of those people. And sometimes when you look back on, on why you felt like that you almost become angry with yourself you think could i have got so low and felt so stupid i felt so low that i was willing to do a b and c but yes you are because people forget sometimes in life we're all human we don't function like robots we're not like the computers we use every day or the phones that when we phone people we're not, we're not mechanized to be one way we're we have multi-personalities within ourselves for a reason. We're happy, we're sad, we're joyful, we're forgiving. Those kind of feelings, those kind of personalities, it's very intricate. So when you are suicidal, all of them have gone. All of those different personalities gone. There's nothing that makes you laugh, nothing that motivates you, nothing that makes you want to see things in a clear light. And obviously, after eight years, he has battled this. 
But I, I often say the worst fear for parents is to lose a child. But also when you lose a parent, it's difficult. And we have to understand that he, that he lost his father through a massacre. And that must have had a profound effect as a child on him growing up. The fact that he was a different ethnic race coming to a place where a lot of white people existed his the life changes would have had a great impact on Strome from a very early age so I'm more or less feeling he that dark cloud will live in him forever eight years is a long time but we welcome him back musically because a lot of people have been experiencing low points low ebbs because of the pandemic recently so a lot of people will relate to this we've had Adele sing about her version of it recently and her and how it's affected her relationship but now we talk about the chorus in this particular song I've considered suicide a few times I'm not proud of it he continues sometimes you feel it and the only way is to silence them is to experience it all these thoughts putting me through hell all these thoughts putting me through hell of course but living a life and expectations is hell and living a life where you've no money and you're struggling is hell. Life in general is hell and it's how we deal with it. It's true that you need to go through a thing to experience a feeling, a situation and put it to rest and learn from that experience. It's, it's called a learning curve and that's the only way, even when we're very, very low, that we can move on from a low situation is to experience it. It can take one, one experience and you're back up on your feet it could take a couple of months to get used to things but in this particular case it took him many many years because of, and he suffers panic attacks when he thinks of having to do music being put under pressure the slightest thing triggers it off because it's a vicious circle that all comes back to not being able to cope with only Stromae can answer those questions as to why he cannot but there is help out there there is professional help i hope if you're in the similar situation and over 16 million people have clicked on this video with a lot of comments about suicidal thoughts a lot of people around the world are relating to this song and if you're in that position people say how would i have got through forward by believing in myself and it's the true thing i believe in fate that if if i'm at a certain point karma will come around to help you to move forward I'm just one of those people that believe in that it's not for everybody but I believe in positivity turning a negative into a positive and instead of saying it cannot happen believing it will but the first move must be by you and there's a lot of help out there so seek it it continues in verse 2 I'm the only one with TV watching the guilt trip show well you should change channels sometimes although not too often Otherwise, it will send your head spinning again and it will be too late to stop it. That's precisely why I'd like to make it all disappear, actually. I love the way he's finishing his choruses with actually, because actually is one of those words that you can cut into four different sections. Actually. Will it? Can it? Should it? And then the question mark. And it's all in relation to how you feel. Actually, it came from four pivotal points many, many years ago. And it was a word that was always flaunted for this, that and the other. And then it was associated with people with low thoughts. And even in mental health, they usually, they always finish sentences with actually. So actually, I think he will get through it. I think if he's come back to make music, we're all grateful for that because you do see enlightenment at the end of any dark tunnel. I did, we all do. For every time that we curse life, we're celebrating, we're smiling. For every time that we cry a tear, we wipe it away to cry tears of happiness. It's not always sadness. And I hope Sarome has got through the worst, but at least I never s suffered a childhood trauma as having my father slaughtered in a ma massacre. That must have been horrendous, horrendous to live with. 
because your parents' feelings would have trickled down onto, onto him, him as well as a child. He would have felt his mother's pain, surrounded by pain because of that. So my sympathy to Strome, my sympathy to everybody listening that may be suffering, but we finish up with, I've considered suicide a few times, I'm not proud of it, nobody is, but don't use it as a dirty word. Use it as a word that you want to get rid of and then take actions to get rid of it. So thank you Strome, thank you the lyrics, thank you for listening. I hope you like, comment and subscribe to my channel. All my videos are in over 16 languages and one of them being French. And Loué Noté from Belgium is there and I hope you check out his videos as well. Welcome onto my